four out of ten luxury watches are sold here in China. As a result of China's commercial might, the world's most important luxury brands consider Shanghai and their boutiques to be the single most important showcase to the market. And here we are at Zhejie Le Coutre's beautiful Shanghai boutique. Product creativity of Jean Le Coultre is always very strong, always uh, uh, at a level of professionalism and, and a level of originality that is a signature. For sure, that's a line uh, that is uh, incarnating all the savoir-faire of Jean Le Coultre in craftsmanship, and that it incarnates uh, the best of the creativity of the maison. Rendezvous plays and will play a great role in this strategy. Uh, for two reasons. Uh, first, that uh, in somehow the official arrival of Jean Le Coultre in jewelry watches, in Rouen jewelry watches, with already the reverso, but uh, uh, with rendezvous, we have the opportunity now to enter that world of the jewelry watches. And second, uh, by its uh, proportion, by its style, it should be uh, uh, quite popular uh, within the region. I love that the watch is very thin, I love that the watch is very elegant, 29, 34 mm. I love that we use the best of craftsmanship because we have a tiny automatic movement. So it means that even the entry watch of the range is a very watch of fine watchmaking. I love that the dial has a, a guilloché created for Jager Le Coultre by Jager Le Coultre. So uh, that attention to detail, that, that real, exp that fine watchmaking expertise. Rendezvous collection uh, will be presented first. Uh, will have its premiere on the red carpet of the Shanghai International Film Festival. We came very quickly to photo and to cinema. Um, because we wanted, we wanted a real modernity. Uh, we wanted deep roots, but we wanted as well a modern expression. When the watch begins to be a character in a film, and when you, you see uh, the watch entering, further developing and writing the legend uh, into films, uh, yeah, you, you can only feel proud. <laughs> 